that to bounce back up? Uh, a lot of it, yeah, it was just a timing issue, and you can shoot shots in practice and get that, uh, and try to simulate game, you know, speed and, and whatnot, but uh, most of the time nobody's guarding you, so it's a little different. Um, and then a, a lot of it is just, uh, you know, allowing that muscle memory to come back and the game kind of atmosphere. So my confidence never wavered. Um, I don't think you shoot nine shots for three without making one if, if you don't have confidence, but. You know, I I thought I was taking some pretty good ones, and uh, you know, hope that eventually it would they would fall. And I got some great screens down the stretch from uh, you know Draymond, Festus, HB, Bose, and um, you know when you're able to come off and, and continue to get good looks, uh, I got to do my job too. Steph uh, Krejcik from the San Francisco Chronicle. How, how, what was your confidence, your, your mindset like in overtime? I mean, you guys get to overtime, and it seemed like you kind of took over at that point. It, I was a little frustrated because I missed that last shot and thought I had a good look at it and kind of got where I wanted to be and missed that floater and um, knew we would have to dig deep as a, as a team to, to win an overtime playoff game on the road. That's, that's so hard to do. And... Uh, defensively down the stretch and in that last five minutes, Draymond was unbelievable. You know, clogging up that paint, you know, blocking shots and altering shots. Andre was amazing on, on CJ. Uh, Clay did an unbelievable job on, on Dane, just trying to make it tough on him and not let him get any open looks. And then me and HB just did our part, you know, help, help side and whatnot. And we were able to turn those stops into um, easy offense for us and, and more of a flow. And, and when you're able to do that, then that's that's when we're at our best as a team. Steph, uh, could you have imagined playing 37 minutes, just have not played a full basketball game in, in four weeks and how do those legs feel afterwards? No, I'm a little sore, um, kind of to be expected. And um, you know, I, I pride myself on the work I put in in the off season to get through you know a two game schedule and be fresh for the playoffs. And I think uh, you know that was a big help for me to you know I, I was off my feet for about a week and a half, about a week, um, some change, and um, you obviously lose a little bit, but deep down when I got you know that good work these last four days and broke a sweat and um, you know put the time in. Um, that helped me get through these 38 minutes. So I always joke with Coach when I came back. He was always talking about minutes restrictions and whatnot. And I always say, yeah, I'm good for 38 minutes. And uh, just kind of an off, off, offshoot comment it kind of played out that way today. Mark Spears, ESPN. Steph, talk about uh, in the uh, – I lost my fair thoughts. Um, when you hit that big three, your first three, just your emotions finally hitting it after so long uh, not being able to nail one. And also your emotions when you were saying, I'm back. Um, yeah, that first one, I was actually looking at my, my brothers in the stands. And, you know, we always kind of talk trash to each other and, and joke around. And I saw him after I made the first three, and, I, and, and he kind of looked at me. He's like, I knew it wouldn't take long. Uh, to get in the rhythm, and I, I kind of mouthed that back to him. And then, um, you know, I, I love this game and love playing and, and love competing and really, really missed being out there with my teammates and to help our team get a win tonight in that kind of fashion and, and whatnot. That's That was a good feeling, you know, in that moment to, to be back on the floor and, and playing. Um, so that was that. Was that. Uh, Mark Plumley from the San Francisco Examiner. Can you talk about the trust you have in your teammates to hit Harrison Barnes on that shot when you hadn't been hitting from the outside all night? Last shot in regulation, 30 seconds. Confidence is contagious, man. And I know one thing in that locker room, nobody really loses confidence. It might not, you know, work out for us. We might not make shots you know, across the board. Guys might kind of you know, go up and down. But in that moment, he knows that I'm going to try to make a play. He, you know, he set a great screen for Clay, and two guys went with Clay to the corner, and he was wide open. And in that moment, we need him to knock it down, and he's he's done that before. Um, and it was a, a huge shot for us to to tie that game up and give ourselves a chance, you know, down the stretch. So 
it's uh, it's fun to to have everybody be involved, and that's what our team really is about. Everybody contributing, and never know if it's going to be your night, but when you have that opportunity, take advantage of it. What were your uh, thoughts in the game three, just kind of watching and seeing the position that the uh, the team was in, and did you put more pressure on yourself to come back to cover? I mean, not really. Uh, um, there's kind of some conversations here <clears throat> about waiting until game five because I did have a little bit of soreness left and honestly wasn't 100%, but was good enough to what we thought for limited minutes, come off the bench and, and help, you know, create some depth for us again. And I was never, there was no panic, never worried about our situation coming into game four. We just knew that tonight was going to be a big, you know, opportunity for us to get a win. And, um, and go home with 3-1, 3-1 lead. So, you know, when I knew going through our pregame warm-up and, and the steps that I had to take to get ready to play that I could give them what I had, um, I was just glad my knee held up throughout the course of the game and was able to uh, to contribute. Step in the back, Sky Muller, KVAL TV. You said you weren't really 100% coming in. Obviously, the overtime maybe would indicate differently. Would you put it? Percentage on you now? Do you feel like you're at 100 now, or still not quite there yet? I'll see when I wake up. Uh, there's, I've only done so much on my knee since uh, I heard it, and tonight was the most, obviously, the most load I put on in three weeks. So, uh, you know, I felt it out there, but it didn't limit me. It didn't really, uh, you know, keep me from trying certain moves or being aggressive. So that was the test of. You know, when I came back, I want to be able to try to play like myself the best I could. So um, hopefully I'll, I'll bounce back tomorrow. Obviously continue to get treatment. That, that won't stop for the rest of the playoffs. And um, keep pushing. Last one for Scott. Uh, yeah, Scott Oster, San Francisco Chronicle. Uh, going into overtime, did you check with Kerr? Did you guys check with each other? Did he ask you how much you had left? No, we had dialogue the whole game. And um, I think he kind of read <clears> – <throat> My body language, you know, towards the end of the fourth quarter, I was obviously tired, but I wasn't dragging out there. I don't think I was, you know, showing it. But, you know, if you can't play five minutes at that point, I, I think something wrong with you. So, um, you just go out there, finish the game, and and, and deal with the uh, whatever happens <laughs> to tomorrow, you know, with the recovery. Um, but I, I was fine, and, and – uh, Confident I could, I could finish the game. I like one more. Ian yeah, Thompson. It's uh, Ian Thompson, NBA.com. Steph, a lot of people are amazed by what you did tonight 17 points in overtime. But are you, are you amazed by it? I wouldn't say amazed. It's just one of those moments when you're standing out there and realize what just happened. It's, it's a pretty good feeling because this is the playoffs and it's everything's heightened intensity, the ramifications of a win or a loss. So, um, I, I'm I'm pleased that I, I had enough in the tank to finish the game and that it finally clicked when it mattered most. Um, and, and definitely, you know, proud of, of, of how we played as a team. But, you know, I'm, I'm amazed. I, I think I have too much confidence in what I can do to, to go out there and play well. That um, and this is what this is what I play for. Great. Thank you.